Hello everyone, welcome again to Engman YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, this channel will talk a lot about petroleum engineering, chemical engineering, geothermal, energy, and so on and so forth. So if you find this channel helpful, please kindly show your support by subscribing it so that I can know whether or not my videos are useful and thus I can improve my videos. All right. So in this video, we are going to start talking about software tutorials. And particularly in this video, I'm going to show you how to create streamline simulation in Embal software. All right. So talking about Embal, Embal is well known for material balance simulation, but it is, in my opinion, not really popular in terms of the usage of its streamline feature. But as I'm going to show you, you'll find out that streamline simulation in Embal is really good as well, actually. Okay, first, let's talk briefly about what are the outputs of this analysis. Okay, so streamline simulation is really useful, especially if you're going to analyze about your water flood. Okay, so streamline simulation can give you these outputs. Okay, you can calculate your breakthrough times, and then you can analyze the connectivity between your injectors and the producers. You can also analyze and calculate about the sweep efficiency of the well configuration you have. And also you can predict the fractional flow to support your material balance model. All right. There will be a lot of things can be elaborated about streamline analysis in MBAL. But my strategy is to show you first how to do it. And that's the focus of this video. And in the next videos, I will explain in more detail about things within the Streamlines feature in Embal. all right? And then let's go to the software. So this is Embal, And then we go to Tool and select the Streamlines. And after that, we can check the options, but you can just left it blank like this, it's okay. And then we can go to PVT section. It's actually quite simple. We can go to input the fluid properties. Okay, this is the window. So we can directly uh, input our data. Let's say we have formation GOR 500. And then our oil gravity, A30. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. Okay, you can just follow me. And then in the next videos, I can elaborate things within this feature. All right, for the gas gravity, 0.8, water salinity, 15,000 ppm, sorry. And for H2S, CO2, and nitrogen, you can just use your data. In my case, it is zero, right? Done. So after that, we can input. So we have geometry, parameters, wells, and calculation times, okay? You can see, we have top boundary, left boundary, bottom boundary, and right boundary. So it's like square reservoir, right? And then we can input our coordinate, the Y coordinate. We can start by minus 2000 feet. With the boundary, I select no flow. You can also select constant pressure if you have aquifer, all right? And then for the bottom boundary, let's choose 2000 feet also with no flow in left boundary also minus 2000 no flow as well and for the right boundary 2000 no flow as well okay you can follow this one go to the next and for parameter for the initial pressure i want to choose 5000 psig and temperature 150 porosity 0.25, all right, and original oil in place, 130, MMSTB, initial water saturation in terms of fraction, let's input 0.3 with residual oil saturation, 0.25, it's okay. Horizontal anisotropy, X per Y, we can use one, so it's homogeneous in terms of X and Y direction. And for mobility ratio, let's start simple one as well. And for permeability, we can choose 
like 100 milli Darcy. All right. It's okay. Just follow this my data first, and then you can do it yourself in your simulation. And then we go to the next and wells. All right. So I have prepared my data. You can follow my data, and then let's talk about this later on in my next videos. All right. I will paste my table here. So this one, so I have 10 wells. Well number one through number 10. Well number one is producer. I locate this well in zero and zero X and Y direction with downhole rate, the production rate 8,000 reservoir barrel per day. And you can also check and see the other wells. Well number two, injector. Number three, injector as well, with their respective coordinates or locations and rates, both for production rates and injection rates. So I use this configuration, 10 wells with their respective coordinates or locations and production rates and injection rates, okay? So we can actually use a lot of configurations with limitless maybe, number of wells, all right? With their respective production rates and injection rates, okay? And then next, all right, we can just uh, left it blank like this one, and then we can validate and everything is okay, all right? Then what we will have is like this one. So this is the configuration of my wells. I have uh, five producers here, number one, seven, four, five, six, and their adjacent injectors number two number eight nine three and ten all right and then we can go to calculation we can calculate and very beautiful okay we can see the streamline the red lines right and the blue lines actually the front of the flood in my opinion it's not really helpful for this stage so i just go to display and uncheck the show fronts all right so now we can only want to know and see the streamline, okay? So as we can see here, the injector eight, most of the injection rates from injector eight go directly to producer six. So they have very strong connectivity between them, okay? But injector eight actually also support weekly to the producer one, all right? and producer one received support from injector eight, nine, three, and 10. So this kind of analysis you can do with this streamline feature, okay? So it's really beautiful. It's really useful, okay? You can, you can use your configuration with your respective locations and production rates and injection rates, and you can see, you can visualize the streamline. And not only that, we can go to the calculation again and see the calculation results. And we can get this table, this really useful table, okay? Like this one. In days number 11,000, all right, I can achieve sweep efficiency up to 53%, okay? So it's, it's okay. And this table is actually for the reservoir. I can also analyze the producers like producers number one, four, five, six, seven. I can select number one and I can see and I can obtain this really useful data or results here in this table. I can see how much support the producer one received from each injector, like this one. Oil swept by injector number two, zero. So actually injector number two doesn't support producer one. Okay, but producer one receives support from injector three, all right, as much as 39%. And then we can go to the right and we can see that the producer one also received support from injector number three, number eight, number nine, and number 10. Okay, we can also show the plots here. I want to show you first the plot for the reservoir. Let's plot the sweep efficiency. Again, we can get this one, sweep efficiency from zero through the last 
value, 54. And then we can see also the oil rate, this red line, the decline you can see, and then of course the water rate, okay? So this is really useful. You can analyze your configuration, your water flood pattern, and we can analyze this kind of things, all right? And actually we can also get the plot for each producer, like this one. I want to check for producer number four. I want to plot the oil rate, like this one, the black line. So it actually declines very fast, the producer number four. And we can plot also oil swept by injector number two, right, this one. So no support from injector number two, no support from injector number three, no support from injector number eight, no support from injector number nine, number 10, 100. So actually producer number four received all the support from injector number 10, okay? Let's see the plot. So I just close this one and done. Producer number four, right? So it only received support from injector number 10. So makes sense. We can visualize by this visualization, all right? So it, it confirms the table that producer number four only receives support from injector number 10, 100% support from injector number 10. All right, so as you can see by yourself that streamline simulation in MBAL is really useful and handy, okay? So I'm gonna stop this video and in the next videos, we are talking a lot about the detail within this feature and the detail within the analysis of streamlined simulation in material balance perspective, all right? So if you find this video really helpful and useful, please subscribe and press the like button. You can also share with your friends, all right? So see you again and stay healthy. Thank you.